Hi, I'm William B. Weeks Jr. and I'm going to be discussing how to add Twitter followers. This is primarily for new Twitter users who are just starting out and want to grow their account fairly rapidly. To grow your Twitter account, first you need to grow it and manage it. And you can do that fairly easily. When you're first starting out, this can be accomplished more easily if you follow these simple steps. Step 1 for new users. Please note there is a barrier when you first start out and um, you'll see this many times as you try to add followers. That barrier is at 2001 and you have to be within 10% of that so you're not going to be able to add followers who have 2001 following and then have 1200 followers. Um, Twitter will not allow you to add followers when you hit that barrier. The way to manage that is to see another presentation that I did talking about managing your Twitter account with free Twitter tools. And you can see that uh, by clicking on the link or going to that, that link and reviewing that presentation. Just an example to show you, you have your following and followers listed here and this one's in pretty good shape. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the people we followed and um, you'll get direct messages from them and then you can check and see who they are. Another way to do that is to actually go look for people and you can do a search um, using the Find People search tool in Twitter and just enter what you're interested in, what you're looking for and then hit search and what will happen is you'll get a list. In this case we got a list. Um, I looked down I saw someone who is active. If you look at it you'll see there's um, it tells you how active people are. The first one's three minutes posted three minutes ago. Grant Thompson is the one that we're going to look at and he posted about two hours ago. <clears throat> what you want to do is to go to their followers and you're going to add users you are interested in and you need to go through at least the first five pages of their account and click on everyone who is active and able to add users so you need to check and make sure that um, they're not stuck with the barrier as well. And a good rule of thumb is is that they post um, less than two hours ago. Um, and again, as we mentioned, you just need to check and, and qualify those users uh, when you first start out. In this case, we clicked on uh, Grant Thompson, and you can see he's got. Uh, large number of followers which is good for us because that means there's a lot of pages that uh, you could actually go through. So we're going to click on followers and the first one we see um, posted less than an hour ago so they're active and then we're going to click on their picture or icon and, and check and see um, further if they're qualified by looking at their following to followers ratio. And they're good, so we can click on follow. And then you just want to go back and repeat this process. And in the case of Grant Thompson, you have many, many pages you could go through. Typically what you'll find out is the deeper you get in, um, you'll see less active people because they tend to be the older tweets so um, but this was a good one and um, you should be able to grow your account fairly rapidly by following this methodology final thoughts um, when you're first starting out this is going to be a manual process unless you really want to invest in automated tools kind of takes away the, the uh, intimacy of Twitter when uh, everyone's automated, but uh, that's a political discussion. 
be aware now you cannot add more than 150 accounts per hour and Twitter will tell you if you hit this limit in that case you're going to need to wait and at least an hour and then go back in and you can add more users and again don't forget to manage your account look at the uh, slide presentation uh, at the link that I've listed here and hopefully this will get you started very quickly take care